In this video, I'm going to compare different stem separators, primarily RIP-X DAW versus FL Studio. If you're not familiar, FL Studio is updated and they have quite a few cool features like mastering and stem separation. And RIP-X has also updated their own uh, software with the, its own individual little DAW. So now let's compare what they sound like. So I have the original instrumental here and I'm going to preview this in FL Studio. Originally, it's a sample of an old song I had to actually slow down a bit and chopped up. Uh, but it's enough sounds in there, I feel like it can give me a fair comparison of what's happening. So you have your bass, hi-hats, kick, snare, little voice sample. So it's enough for it to kind of have the bass level of separation, though. I don't expect, like, super amazing results, <laughs> just realistically. Uh, and each one of these things don't take that long to do. Uh, FL Studio, again, if you just downloaded their uh, newest version available now, um, you will have to go under your file, and then there's the option to export, and they have the option to choose mastering, so I would download that if you haven't already. And then you also have to create a little cloud account, which is free under their uh, service there, and it gives you the option to uh, download the stem separation option which you can access by right clicking and now you see an option that says extract stems from sample so this will probably be either grayed out or uh, unavailable at first until you click it and then it'll download I think it's like a 100 megabytes or something like that and does its little thing and then you can use this to create stems so I have this instrumental I ran it through this it took maybe all of three minutes to do and here are the end results. So here is the drums. So if I listen close, you can still kind of hear some of the original sample in there. Um, like the, the voice kind of sounding thing in here. I'm not a big fan of it having all the drums together, so I'm wondering, um, is there another option here? Extract stems from sample. No. Nope. So essentially this is what you would see, right? Um, so you can have the end result do nothing, mute source track, mute, okay. I would love for an update to come where you can actually separate the bass drum, the snare, hi-hat, and additional instruments. So far, it's just kind of all bundled together under drums. Um, and they have like vocals, but it'd be nice to have an option for like guitar and like synths and stuff like that. Uh, just, I don't know, it would, need, it would need some kind of upgrade to the algorithm, but essentially all the drums are kind of comped together. Which isn't a major issue, because essentially you can copy this like three times run uh, different noise gates to kind of separate them out. So you can have one for just drums, one for just the snare, and then one for like the hi-hat ideally, and a little bit of EQ and tweaking, and then you can have your separate uh, percussion there. So that's the drums, they're not the worst. So let's compare it to the original again with the focus on the drums. back to what it separated. Yeah, it's just, I, I can hear it there, but yeah, there are like, it's a few artifacts happening in there. All right, moving right along. So this is the bass, and it did about as what I, I expected it to do. Uh, this is very similar to other free, um, options out there and alternative options out there when it comes to bass separation. They kind of have this weird, I don't know how to can describe it, like this little computery thing happening on the top end there you can hear it's like, it's not the most pleasant sound, but uh, with a little bit of EQ again, if you rolled off the top end with the EQ, like a um, little shelf filter there, you should be okay. Um, 
And again, you can like route this to its own track and EQ it separately. Uh, but not bad. And then they have instrument or instruments. So this is like the bulk of the sample. And again, here's the original. Oops. And then the... All right, and then they have one more. I kinda wanna skip ahead, actually. Here, this little area here. See them in a bit. So this section here. This is like the bridge. It's interesting that it caught. I have everything, let me hear the original. So I have stuff reversed and it's like weird stuff happening for this little bridge section. It's like reversed and all kinds of weird stuff happening so. Yeah, I don't know why it chose to keep that in this area. You can see this little noisy section there. All right, and then on its last track under vocals, this is what they have, so they picked that up. did a pretty good job with that one. I'm a little surprised. Um, not a lot of artifacts, except at the very beginning. I saw a little piece here. I zoom in a bit. So it has that like initial startup sound. That sounds like a tweet. Anyway, uh, so that's FL Studio stem separation. Let's hop into uh, Rip X. Now on Rip X, uh, same thing. I just dragged in the audio file. And RipX gives you a few more options as far as separating an audio file. For example, when you drag and drop in an audio file, you have these options. So you have your voice, you have the bass, you have the drum and percussion. And these are also grouped together. Uh, but the difference is they have another option for uh, guitar and piano, and then the other slash instruments. And then you can have it separate just the stems if you don't want to manipulate it afterwards, or if you do want to manipulate that, toggle that off, and you press rip. And then it takes a little minutes. They call it rips. Uh, I mean, every, everywhere else is called stems, but this is their own unique thing. But it goes through the whole process, which again, takes close to maybe five or six minutes with this one. It took a little longer, um, you know, different algorithms and all that. But it did a pretty decent job. And again, let's hop back in the beginning. And this is everything together. So again, it sounds pretty good. Uh, the major, if you never use this piece of software, by the way, uh, RipX is like, this is their main bread and butter. That's what it does. It separates stuff into stems, but you can also manipulate it uh, similar to like Melodyne, where you're using audio kind of like MIDI, uh, where you're able to choose like a, I don't know, any old sound in this thing here. I can drag this note across the scale and actually, manipulate it that way if I wanted to. I can create harmonies. Um, so essentially you're able to remix an entire song if you just had just a stereo track this way. Um, it's a little different than how FL Studio approaches it. Uh, but you can also export stuff from here as uh, MIDI information or audio files. So it gives you a little bit of flexibility that way. But um, that's not the main focus of this video. So let's listen to the different sections. So they have the voice category, which doesn't seem like it picked up. Oh, okay, so I did get that one section too. And a little bit at the beginning you saw there. Pretty 
pretty good stem, stem separation with the voice. And again, uh, like I mentioned, you can create harmonies if you wanted to. Well, that sounds terrible, but you get the idea. You're able to completely manipulate the audio in very unique ways, like it's a MIDI file. So we've got the voice in here. So let's see. Let's go to the piano. What do they have under piano? So nothing under the piano category. What about guitar? Yeah. So this is like the main sample. Okay. So it actually did a pretty good job with that. It does sound like it... I don't know what happened, like some of the low ends rolled off? Maybe I'm just hearing things? I do hear some of the original reverb in the uh, sample, which is kind of interesting. Um, okay. And bass. And again, with the bass, it's always the same thing. You hear that little top end weird stuff happening. Let me compare. Let me hop back into FL Studio real fast. Really similar. I feel like Rip X is slightly more, I don't know, the wide. <laughs> um, maybe I'm just hearing things, but it just sounds like it's a little bit more wide, like as far as the uh, uh, um, width of this bass. Not bad. They're about the same. And then the drums. So this is what I kind of favor Ribex's separation of stems. It did get the kick drum, part of a reverb of a snare. But you can also go in here, if I wanted to, let me zoom in a bit here. If I wanted to get this completely clean as just a kick, I can select and delete. So it makes it a little easier to get that cleaner sample um, versus needing to use like noise gates and stuff. I'm not sponsored by anyone, anyone by the way. This is just me and my personal opinion. So this is the drums they have. So that's just a snare. Okay. Um, so what you could do is go back under, if you're using RipX again, since I know that this section here is like the snare, I can select this bit and then send it to my, what they're calling drums, uh, like that, pressing this little arrow. So now if I go back under my drum track now, all my little snares are all in one thing. So I'd have to relabel this, but you can kind of organize it within this DAW fairly easily. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was able to separate the bass drum and the snare separate. So percussion, so the hi-hats. Ooh, there's a lot of noise happening. I am not liking. And you can actually hear the sample in there too. So all these are like the snares. So again, this would have to be selected and then sent to the snare track itself. Because it's kind of in the wrong place. Oof, yeah, I don't know. Um, I actually kind of like FL Studio's hi-hat a little better. So Even though it's all kind of together, at least it doesn't include the sample. So I'm gonna go back to FL or uh, Ripex. So even though it's a cleaner, 
um, separation or what am I trying to say here? Even though this separated all separately, the other one seems to sound cleaner to me. Like it doesn't have as much of the sample in it. Versus this has the voice in it. That, eh, 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 eh. Like, so it would take a little bit more work to try to clean this up. So I'll give it to FL Studio with that at least. Uh, and then they have under strings. So this is like our, the voice. Alright. Ooh, that's that ugly little computer-y little noise. I hate. Ooh, I actually picked up bass in there. So that would have to be reassigned to its correct layer. Mm. Yeah, this would need to have a good amount of like filters and reverb to kind of mask some of this weird artifact noise that I'm hearing. Yeah, that just sounds like a cleaner separation for the sample itself. That's interesting. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to. I don't want to make this video too long, but. Uh, essentially, you have slightly more control over what's being separated in what layer with Rip X. However, there are some parts of the stem, separ stem separation in FL Studio that are just a little cleaner, like the sample. Um, there's always updates with this thing, so I imagine it will be released with future releases. But the option to have your drum separated for bass drum, snare, and hi-hat would be super beneficial versus having to kind of manually tweak it a bit to get it that way. Um, both of them are about the same when it came to separating the bass. Um, I have tried this with a few other songs, but I just wanted to keep it pretty simple with this video. Yeah, I don't know, what do you think? Have you tried both of these things? Which one do you use most? Uh, FL Studio is a, you know, a one-time purchase, same thing with uh, RipX. Uh, but of course this is more production-based and geared towards producers and you know uh, mixers and stuff versus uh, RipX is primarily just with uh, stem separation although they do have tools in there that are meant for cleaning up audio but honestly this interface is pretty clunky and not super user friendly um, and I've mentioned this in previous videos so uh, no bias there I've been pretty straightforward with that there's things I wish they changed that would make this a lot more user friendly and things that I'm, I hate when you're like hovering over and you accidentally click on stuff and you're adding vibrato and reverb when you're not trying to. <laughs> it's not FL Studio on the other hand, super user friendly. It looks a little intimidating at first, but literally within like five minutes you can use this thing and it's be pretty proficient at it. The other one you can have for weeks on end and you still be trying to figure out basics. <laughs> so. Um, for what it is and the cost wise, I would go with FL Studio on this, uh, as far as stem separation. Anyway, I will end this video here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. And I will talk to you all soon.